right now in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So today I have with me a super guest, long lost friend, uh, Mr. Chen Hong from BI app. Uh, we are waiting for attendees to roll in. If you can hear us, type in hi. If you can hear us well, okay, got two attendees and uh, starting to ramp up. Today's topic is going to be about US stock versus Malaysia stock, which is better. And uh, what's the difference between investing in US and Malaysia? Um, hey, hi, Suin, who are earlier supporter. Uh, hi, Steph Yu. Hello, Tan Yi Sun. Okay, wow, many people rolling in now. Jamin, hey. Okay, who here have seen Chen Hong before? You have maybe uh, attended his preview before or watched his Facebook Live before or you 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 know about VI app. Type in CH. If you know about Chen Hong before this, you type in CH if you know him before. Wow, Clement say, Sifu, <laughs> hi Sifu. Um, Chan Yu, hi. Linda, hi. So me and Chen Hong actually, our history goes about four or five years back. Later, I'll share a short history, how we got to know each other. And um, then after that, we'll move on, talk about the hot stock and hot topic for today, which is glove stocks, right? Uh, Supermax released the result, I think what? Growth 34 year 30. on year. Yeah. Wow, really crazy, man. So we're gonna talk about that as well as Hata Lega. Then only we move on to US stock versus um, Malaysia stock. In Kin Yong say he is my seafood. Hey, Chen Hong, you got to die. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bro, why my why my students all at your page? Right? <laughs> well, I believe they follow many people. Actually, quite a lot of people eh, know you, yeah. know you and Clement, Jamin, T E Sun, Tony In. So Hello. it's good, lah. Eh? YouTube watch you. Wow, Steve Chan is your YouTube fans. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so for very good the advertisement for in the YouTube. <laughs> what you got keep spamming advertisement on YouTube? Eh? No, no, we because we on the YouTube, ma. so one uh. wanted to make some passive income from the YouTube. Uh <laughs> from YouTube, yeah. wow, a lot of people got to know you from YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So just to share with you how I got to know Chen Hong. Um, I think this story goes back like four or five years before this. Uh, we yeah. have a mutual friend by the name of Hao Ming who worked in your company before yeah right? internship. yeah internship there then yeah. from there he talked about me and hey that got chen hong interested hey there's somebody so young and then he's also teaching people how to invest as well value investment guru all this so that's why um our friend how ming connected both of us up then from there we talk a little bit hey found out actually maybe we can do something together because he was trying to write a book. I, yeah. I was also trying to write a book. So we were thinking, hey, why don't we take this opportunity to come together, uh, share knowledge with each other, maybe write the book together, then we go and interview people together. So from there, we brainstorm, brainstorm, and we talk a talk. Um, just happened that time, I was still in university around year 2016. I was about to do my internship. So I thought, hey, why don't I go to Chen Hong's company to do internship? while doing business. Uh, this, uh, I think this story, I don't want to tell too much. Uh, later, you guys know what's happening behind the scene. <laughs> later, you guys take back my UTM set. Anyway, um, that's how I got to know Chen Hong. We went there and we actually created a youth program, right, Chen Hong? Yeah, GYDS, get your dollar cents. Yeah, get your dollar cents. Because both of us, our passion is to help uh, the young people, millennials, uh, to start investing and to know how to manage their money better, don't waste all the money, you know, waste your life away, start to have some financial planning. I think both of us in our own way actually was quite successful doing that. Do you agree? Yeah. A bit successful, yeah. not super, super. Yeah. yeah. And um, so today, after the collaboration, all this, uh, we actually part ways. Um, I do my thing, he do his thing. Then after two, three years, now we meet again. So he's yeah. a really, really long lost friend. So today I want to invite him to share a little bit about, maybe you can share a little bit about what you have been doing in the past two years. Yeah. And um, then we'll move on from there to talk can, about uh, market outlook. Can. Uh, thanks, Ming Tech. Uh, guys, you can hear me loud and clear. Just type in yes in the chat box and uh, good to see you guys. And really 
you know, when Meng Tech called me, I think two weeks ago, right, bro? I think two weeks ago, you called me. Yep. And then we just meet up. Then we have a Zoom meeting. Then we immediately, you know, we catch up for more than one hour to discuss what, what is happening over the past two years. So over the past two years, I've been doing, still with V College. Uh, last time we used to call AI Education, then transfer the name to V College. Then right now, uh, we are doing not only the education, we're also doing the app. So uh, due to MCO period, we transfer everything online. And I always saw maintain online, right? Uh, I always at the back to support, uh, to watch the live. I'm not sure whether some of you say Chen Hong is watching. <laughs> so, so actually, I noticed that also, but then I don't want to comment that much. Uh. <laughs> I know we are friends, but many some people think we are like enemy or what? Yeah, correct. So, but we are not enemy. Uh. For, for me, it's about, you know, the market is so big. Education is something that is really amazing. Uh, and before this, you know, 8.30, we start, ma. 8.15 to 8.30, me and Ming Tech keep on chatting. It's about the content for, for today. So over the past two years, I'm doing education and also doing value investing. And one thing changed after I, you know, met Ming Tech is we, I started to invest in US stock. But today, Ming Tech will represent US stock, I will represent Malaysia stock. Because I have an argument, right? Not argument, uh, I would say my point of view is if you're a beginner, uh, you should start from Malaysia stock. And only after you have few years of experience in Malaysia stock, uh, you might want to go US stock. But me and Meng will have different view. So just, you know, stay tuned for the debate and also the discussion that we have. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we can start with um, the most important thing today, which is the biggest update of today. What's your view on glove stocks? Because uh -huh. I, I also actually, not just you come and support me, sometimes I also come and support you. Right? So I heard before <laughs> you were quite bullish on glove stocks. Yeah. And actually, Hatta Lega specifically has been a stock that has been featured in your uh, value investing um, college and now yeah. rebranded to VI, your yeah. uh, investment school. Yeah. Ongoing. Every time you guys talk about Hatta, 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 and then suddenly this pandemic come, wow, hot, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so maybe you can share what's your, uh, your outlook and whether we can still invest in them. Yeah, I think... Uh, okay, for those who are still interested, I, I know there's a lot of people talk about Glove uh, recently, so some, some of you may be quite bored. But back to 2014, like what Mengtek said, Meng said uh, three to four years ago when uh, Mengtek met us, we already discussed about Hatta Lega. How many of you know us or know me many years ago and you know me talking about Hatta Lega already? Type in uh, yes in the chat box or type Hatta Lega in the chat box. So I've been following Hatta Lega since 2014. Uh, that's my first investment. And I got married with my wife by using the profit that I made from Hatta Lega. And right now, my baby boy just came up and recently Hatta Lega shoot up again. So every time when Hatta Lega shoot up, right, there's something uh, that good has happened to me. Now. So <laughs> next round, shoot up for Glove. Uh, you, you can't, maybe I have another daughter or I have another wife. No, just joking. Hopefully my wife is not watching this live. Uh. <laughs> so come back to, you know, entire Glove counter. Uh, specifically the result that uh, we announced today, uh, you know, both Hatta Lega as well as Supermax. Hatta Lega released uh, in a noon, improved by around close to 300% profit after tax year on year. But what amazed me was Supermax improved by not 300%, but 3,000%. It's one zero at the back. Uh. You know, last time uh, when me and Meng are discussing about a stock, we are assuming company can grow by what? 20, 30%. And 20, that was fucking oh, super stock. Oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> Fast grow idea, eh? but recently ah, the company is like growing by <laughs> the percentage ah, on the series. It's like how many four. So I, I I think most of us understand why glove counter the fundamental is improving because of the pandemic that we, all of us don't want, but because of the business are doing good, the business fundamental went up. Uh, from revenue, from profit margin, uh, from the same expenses, but the you know net profit are improving, earning per share improving. So if you still want to invest in Glove, and for me, I'm still bullish for Glove Counter. And if you want to invest, you must use this valuation method called forward PE. I mean, if you really want to invest. So forward PE means to say you must estimate what is the next year result, right? So for example, Hatta Lega right now are making 500 over million. So what do you think about going forward next four quarter? Do you think they will, you know, go up to 200%, 300%? Then we use the forward earning to multiply back the PE ratio. Because the current PE was 60 over time. Even we you are rationale, you also, I mean, as a value investor, we don't buy last time, we never buy more than 20. 
but things change, right? So we want something. Yeah, we buy negative P, bro. I think we'll talk about that later. In US, we bought the company that is negative P. So, but what changes is because the environment changes. And you know, even Warren Buffett changed Leng Yan Chenpei, who is the Warren Buffett of Malaysia. He also changed. Last time, he always stayed with the P less than that. But now the later, different? Yeah, right now it's beyond more than P50. So that is the oh. difference, the changes. So that's what he's saying now. He will buy yeah. stocks that PE more than 15. Yes, the latest book. So yeah. This is a change that I even see on the you know old school value investor. That's the reason why we also start to change. But come back to, to Glove. Uh for PE. And if you don't know what is for PE, just try out this formula. It's simply you must use the estimated next year earning per share multiplied by the industry average PE. So, you know, example for all the healthcare industry, our average PE is around 30 to 45. I mean it's okay la, for us 30 to 40 time to buy into a glove counter or any medical industry is okay even hospital like kbj like ih the pe is beyond 40 time so 30 to 40 time for us is okay so we estimate so let's say you know in 2019 earning per share of hatha Lega is around 20 cent so we must go and think can hatha Lega improve by two times so let's say 2019 the earning per share was 20 cent then on financial year 2020, can it hit 60 cent? If the answer is yes, then we use the new earning per share, which is 60 cent, multiplied by the industry RHP, which I normally use 40, right? So the latest uh, valuation that I do for myself, a disclaimer only for myself, uh, not a recommendation about yourself. For me personally, it's around 13 to 14 ringgit based on the, my forward P. And that's the reason why on September, I actually map out my average price from 16 average down to 15 14 13 12 so i have a i use different strategy I average down for five different time and all matches right there's this very powerful thing in uh even for malaysia and also singapore uh in us there's this thing called a gtc right good to close so you can set the price you don't need to key in the, the price every single day you can set the price right so you can do that. I, I personally use CMB and also US, I use TDM Retreat. So that's something that we can do. And long story short, yeah, I think I still bullish. And how long will it go? Based on the Hata Lega later result, the company are already purchasing a new land. You know the Sepang, last time we go and, we, we go and visit one, from plan one to plan seven completed already. Right now they bought another land in Sepang. They want to build out a new plant from plan eight to plan 11 to boost up their capacity. At the same time, they also bought another land uh, in Banting. They want to build another NGC 2.0. So there's a growth plan that we can see for Hatha Lega. And Supermax, uh, the latest result, they also wanted to enter into face masks, another you know, personal protection equipment. So this is something that all of them, they are doing and growing. And me personally, if I can choose one of the gloves out of so many, uh, I will choose Hatha Lega. That's the, for number one. Uh, number two, I will not choose the rest of the big four. Uh, I will choose the company that Mintech bought before. It's called Riverstone because it's the company that's most likely to grow uh, two to three times down the road. Yeah. So that's all from my perspective. Wow. Why don't why won't you choose Supermax since the result is like thirty times and if you look at the forward. PE, uh, can everybody type in FPE? What he means is based on, if you look at based on past earning, you cannot use 2019 earning is nothing. Oh. Now the earning, uh, this quarter is 30 cent. Okay. So that means one year, uh, they can probably make one ringgit 20 cent. And Supermax in their uh, quarterly result, they also even share that this profit haven't factored in the highest ASP yet. And the ASP is still going up. So right. they're probably making 40 cent, 50 cent next quarter. So let's say they make one ringgit 20 cent this year uh, per share. The share price only, what, $9.78 cent, PE yeah. of five only. Forward yeah. PE of five based on uh, one ringgit 20 cent. Yeah. So if if uh, they really go to PE 30 uh, based on forward earning, uh, can go up six fold. Eh? <laughs> yeah. For, for, for me, why I choose Hatha Lega over Supermax is because I still look at the business fundamental. Uh, most of the uh, glove that's sold by Supermax was mark to market. I mean to say, they, last time 
they don't really have a lot of contract unlike top club and hanta lega uh, 70 to 80 percent they are more on contract meaning to say the price and also the volume is being locked so the profit is more you know uh estimated we can estimate the profit right so unless we max because of the recent pandemic so because they sell glove people have no stock that's why they can increase the, the, the entire asp so when i look at the company i'm more thinking in a perspective of more than 10 years i don't look i don't look at like one or two years for me it's about more than 10 years as what warren buffett and also token west which uh whom we met in you know in thailand warren buffett of thailand uh yep. he, he always taught us that if you want to invest in a company we must thinking to hold a company for 10 years if you want to hold for two years might as well you don't hold so that's where you know i come from my position but i do agree supermax might be the cheapest glove after the new result release like what maintain said the p could be like what five six yeah potentially yeah. i think this topic is very interesting we can talk like really deep <laughs> um, but before that can everybody type in supermax if we can hit 400 live viewers, uh, Chen Hong later will show you a list of fast-growing companies that he <laughs> pre-tweeted for you. Okay, so uh, type in Supermax, everyone. So actually, um, I don't have any qualification to talk about glove stocks. I've missed out on the biggest rally. I only muscled in like September uh, after all the glove stocks dropped like crazy. In fact, I shorted top glove. Okay, <laughs> and it was like, nine some eight nine dollar i shorted it until six dollars something or seven dollar then i closed i made some profit from there but it's a small profit but wow hey paris sim say chen hong okay but Hello. the rest the max <laughs> wow good oh wow, a lot of friends here okay so yeah so actually um um maybe we talk about two things okay yeah. number one what, what do you think about like supermax yes it's cheap lah right it's yeah. cheap now based on the earnings but do you think this kind of earnings uh, is sustainable? If not, how long? Because the big reason why they can make so much profit, uh, if you remember 2018, 2019, uh, their yeah. profit margin was so thin. And if you read that their annual report, uh, it's in crisis mode one, you know. Everybody yeah. say, oh, because of pricing pressure, oil price go up, their profit margin is so thin. The big four can make money. The rest uh, is losing money one. Yes. Yeah, so... Do you foresee the industry to go back to that kind of situation five years from now with everybody like expanding aggressively? But after pandemic, the demand is not so urgent anymore. Yeah, I I think personally you need to see the management. That's why, you know, when we, we when we think about or invest in a company, apart from the business model, how they make money, the management right now is also critical. You see, the company are making a huge money. Their bank, I think they got like, 2.3 or 2.4 billion of cash right now so now it's up to the management which company uh supermax okay it's up to the management whether do they want to keep the customer relationship good and change their business model from last time mark to market I mean to say they they don't have any contract right now shift to more contract base which i just read their report they wanted to do this and apart from this they want to shift to face mask uh increase their capacity in face mask but this is all unproven because last time when Tato series still in the you know Stanley still in the supermax the company and like what you say the margin is very thin but now the second generation start to take over we shall see uh what does the second generation will do to the supermax but again uh will it sustainable I'm not sure depend on the management again I still bullish on Tata Lega and for me, like, is I want to buy a company that is not time bomb, and I right assure the management will be taking care of my money for long term. I always go to AGM and laugh uh, with the management. I say, you know, I, I put all my money inside really. So next time, uh, my son uh, can study overseas or study local. Uh, it's up to you whether how many gloves you can make. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that is also one of the reasons why I love um, Riverstone. Whereas of all, uh, I see, wow, this company is damn quality, but nobody know about them because they are listed in Singapore. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, same thing, lo, because it's actually Hatta and Riverstone both are very quality. Top Glove actually also very quality. The management, those three are uh, tip top on. They are like model, okay? Yeah. Uh, role model, right? Yeah. But unfortunately, you're still selling commodity, ma. Yeah. Right. So um uh, my my view is 
Definitely, especially let's say I, I don't know about Hatta lah because I only watch Riverstone. Definitely Riverstone, if by now, I believe my price, $3, eventually, it's still going to be okay one. Okay, mm. even if oh, COVID over all this. But with the other stocks, I don't know. Eh. Without the high ASP, when the thing go back to normal, eh, I don't know if you buy at the peak price now, eh, is it a time bomb or not? I'm more skewed towards uh, it's gonna be very bloody down the road in yeah. the next five years. Only a few select one that is properly doing business one, really got the economies of scale, really got a technology one, uh, can survive. But the profit trend, uh, will it be the same kind of profit now? Uh? Will they ever make the same profit as they make now? Uh? I think that's a big question. Yeah, right? just, to, just to give the, the audience some perspective, what, uh -huh. what do we talk about, you know? Normal company, you can write down profit margin above 10% for us, uh, net profit margin, we are talking about NPM, net profit margin, above 10 to 15%. If you read any of the book, right, any of the book that in our book read or in Mentec book read from US, from UK, from Malaysia, more than 10 is good. And right now, the profit margin of the glove counter is more than 40%, net profit margin. So that was incredible. Mm. Yeah, like when you say it's cheesy. And... and uh -uh. You, yeah, you that, continue, that, continue. That actually move on to the management. I always emphasize on management on how management can encounter with this kind of high growth and will they be sustainable for long term? It's not up to the market, it's not up to the business model, it's not up to the capacity only, but also the strategy planning and also the legacy planning for that particular management. So yeah. I'm very, very particular at the management. If I don't feel comfortable, then I won't invest. Fun fact, uh, fun fact. All of the five club company that we talked about, you know, the top four and plus uh, Riverstone, uh, Hatta Lega, the founder, do not have any title. Nothing. Title means what? Tan Seri, Datuk Seri, uh, Datuk. Yeah, five. Riverstone also. Yeah, uh, Riverstone also. So out of the five, right. two don't have. Yeah. Right. So, okay, this one I truly agree with you. Lah. Okay. Um, management is really the. <laughs> This one, uh, you read books uh, when you first start. Uh, uh, tell, uh, management, of course, important. Uh, you won't know until you're going to burn a few times. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> management don't play play, okay? It doesn't... It, good management is like boring also. In the short term, you can't see the difference also. Good, bad management doesn't matter. But one, two, three years, okay, you will see the difference. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think in terms of the glove topic, um, there's a lot to, to be shared. But one thing that I hate hearing recurring is um, about the glove stocks, a very bullish thing is that these glove companies now, they have a lot of cash. They have no debt. What can they do with the cash, right? Yeah. With the cash, they can propel new growth. But I, <laughs> sorry, like, this is like really like a debate now. I want to bring my point. Uh, is, uh, you see the Supermax uh, market cap now is close to 30 billion a day, 26 yeah. billion. The cash is only 2.6 billion. It's one tenth of the price, right? Yeah. You I, let your cash uh, go and deploy, uh, make 20% return on your cash. Uh. Yeah. It's nothing. It is uh, nothing to the, the entire company, market cap, the impact. True. True. So uh, I think that is also like some people say, oh, I'm buying this company for dividend, right? Because I'm <laughs> going to get a huge dividend now. I think that's not a very smart thing to do now, you know? To buy this company for a dividend because if i mean the most important thing when buying glove stocks are, is uh, do you have margin of safety in case the asp drop back uh, will it be a permanent huge loss for you do you agree this is the most important thing to ask yes now it's on trend uh, yeah. right it's really on trend everything is good for them right but if you are buying for long term uh, you really need to ask yourself the price that you're buying uh, does it give you any margin of safety if you factor in, you know, the bad case? Yes. And, and also, I think that's I, why I, you choose Hata. Yeah, I think this also need to add on for portfolio. Uh, I recently talked to some of the, the students, right? Uh, they almost all in to glove. Me to wow. say they got 100,000. Uh. Then I asked how many stock you buy. I said, then they say, I bought five stocks. I say, okay, what diversification? <laughs> I asked, what industry are you in? He said, I bought all the glove counter. I was like, what? Wow. <laughs> so you got glove ETF, yeah. yeah, everything you sign into glove. Yes, you make it happy. I see a lot of people like because of you know glove can able to go and buy one 
uh, McLaren or Ferrari. I mean, it's perfectly fine for you to make money from. Is it that, a doctor? Uh, there, there's plenty lah. There's you know a lot of people. Oh, okay. I heard the same story. One doctor bought glove stocks, then used a the profit buy a Ferrari. I I I heard the McLaren uh, salesperson uh, said the recently, oh, most of the McLaren finished already the stock. Yeah, so they they all being booked by the people who buy glove counter. So next time when we see McLaren on the street, we just wear glove lah. Is that from Hatta Lega? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but come back here, it's more about portfolio management and I, I think diversification is very important. And that's the reason why today we are not just talking about, you know, Malaysia stock, but also for US stock at the later stage. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we should move on to US stock versus Malaysia stock, which is the main topic for today. Yeah. So um, let's start the uh, sharing and the discussion. But before that, guys, we are at 371 viewer now. Help us press a share button and write hood cow e. <laughs> oh, this one is a new word that I learned. Hood <laughs> e, right? This one. Uh, okay. Okay. So how many of you have learned something from me and Ming Tech? Uh, just type in, uh, you know, yes or or <laughs> anything to us. Uh, because, you know, we have been soy soy talking for close to around how many? 26 minutes. And, and yeah. I, I hope you guys enjoy. I long time never do live with it because almost every day I have my own program. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and also I also do recording for my YouTube. So most of I, I rarely do live. So if you enjoy, uh, do let us know in the chat box. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, one thing, uh, your YouTube channel, uh, I do watch your YouTube video. Oh, uh, very well made, man. <laughs> very well you. made. If you guys want to follow him on YouTube, you can go to YouTube, type Chen Hong or Pai Kuching. Kuching. I don't know how to type uh, Pai Kuching. Uh, Pai Kuching. Kuching uh. Uh, yeah. Wow, very informative. I uh. do a lot of case study in a very good way. So Credit anyway, to, now. Hmm? Credit to the team. Yep. So now we are going to share about Malaysia versus US stock. So I personally think uh, if you want to invest long term, uh, you have a much better chance investing in US. I don't know. Uh, like in Malaysia, uh, to be honest, uh, when I see Hatta Lega uh, past few years, I uh, don't say this year, uh, this year pandemic, nobody no one. Uh, yeah. right? But past few years, I see this uh, company is buy? PE is so high. The growth also 7%, 10%. It's like blue chip. Uh, sorry, uh, too slow for me, man. Right, uh, but I look at U.S. stock. Wow, close eye, big, no-brainer stock. Amazon, Facebook, hood cow Ioni, You can make twenty percent, thirty percent a year. And you know, my every day, you know, you see the ads. All the guru come and spend the ads, right? Yeah. So you know, wow, I'm still doing very well. And I yeah. personally run ads, so it's super easy for me to monitor. That's why I prefer U.S. stocks. But what's your view? Why why would you prefer Malaysia uh, stocks for investment? Okay. I, I think for me, I do like US stock. You know, I started in 2018 and more active uh, since 2000, December 2019. So my portfolio in US grew by around 57% from year to date. So including with option. So the, the growth was amazing. From when? Sorry? From when? From year to date. So 1st of January 2020. Wow, 50 something percent. Uh. Right, so in US, hey, it's not bad. Option, uh, option. option itself around 20 over percent. So with some of the you know company like A Biomed, Facebook, uh, Alibaba, all these company. But the key point is yes, uh, it's very exciting. A lot of people are saying that the moment you go to US market, you will never want to come back. But the volatility and the swing and also the risk for you to lose all of your money can just happen in one second. And that's my first number one point. For all beginner, if you never start investing, I urge you to start from Malaysia first. The reason being is Malaysia market is not so attractive. At the same time, it's more safer. So why do I say so? Because Busan Malaysia, there's a limit up and limit down. So any company that's above one ringgit, right? So the moment it increased by thirty percent, meaning thirty cent, so they will have a stock, right? So any company that dropped fifteen percent, okay, they will have a trading pot for you know for a few hour and they need to go to the company and make some announcement so but this will not happen in u.s market so for u.s market right i always see one day one second it will swing down 40 to 50 percent example one of the company that we might talk about later called fastly just because of one earning you know readjust the estimation of earning not really the report yet lah, from 120 plus right shoot down one day to 80 over just one night eh. 
but you cannot buy at 110, 191 because the moment open, the first trade was 80 over dollar. So that's a risk that uh, I'm, I'm talking about for you know for new beginner. But of course, when you have capital, uh, you know, like Ming Tech and me, you know, like us, me, we are saving up our money for many, many years before we go into the US market. So yeah, that's point one. Number two, it's more about circle of competence, uh, right? Uh, you know, the recent IPO, Mr. DIY, we know what they are doing. We know what Hatalega has been doing. We know what, what Revenue has been doing. We know what OpenSeeds has been doing. You know, all this company is just around us. And when we go and examine, it's much more easier and the risk is much more lower. So I always use, the, if you can catch it, it's all about risk. As Ron Buffer said, the moment, the moment you go and take it, the moment you are able to take care of your risk, right? Right? And the return will come by itself. So the key point is, yeah, I think Malaysia stock is much more safer as compared to US market. Yeah. Well, my point, uh, especially regarding safe or not safer, uh, my point uh, is uh, if you got diversifier, uh, right? Okay, first of all, let's talk about limit down. Uh. This one actually a very interesting idea. If people think uh, limit down can protect you from losing money, uh, actually, you just no need to go back so far. Right. Hey, actually, not fighting here, but I just share my view. No need to go back so far. You just go back to March. You can see already. Yeah. Yes, got limit down 30%. Okay. Maximum lah. One day can drop 30%. But today drop 30% doesn't mean next day won't drop another 30%. Yeah. If the stock want to drop, ah, no point one. You are just a matter of time before it drop only. So, but maybe the limit down can temporarily make people think first. Okay. Today drop 30% already, you got 24 hour to think tomorrow you still want to panic sell or not. But Malaysia, a lot of the time, especially in March, the limit down, limit down is caused by those margin player, margin yeah. account player. And uh, Malaysia culture wise, uh, they treat stocks more like gambling, like, you know, go in. I see the hood cow, the term uh, come out means it's like gambling. Uh, wow, let me sign all in. This is it. I buy this stock. I fly, right? Yeah. So hey, where, where you I, learn this? Where, where, where you learn this word one? Hood cow. Uh, there is a guru called Wu Chang. Uh, every oh. day say hood cow, cow Then everybody say. Then I also like this term, no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but it's a very interesting term, lah. Huh? So anyway, what I want to share is if the stock want to drop, you definitely drop. So it depends on the quality of the stock. Yeah. In Malaysia, actually there are many, many, especially nowadays. Yeah rubbish stock okay i don't want to name which one but there are many stocks uh, that are really no fundamental just got the story don't know what kind of stock right some guru go and share some you know blogger go and write then a lot of retailer don't know how to analyze or they know how to analyze but they are blinded by the profit yeah. they just go and grab it so those also you will lose a lot of money there right yeah. but if you have stock uh, you don't know, ma. You don't have all these people. Sun you ah, uh, keep on. Hey, buy this ah, uh, buy this. U.S. stock. You only know what Facebook law, Amazon law, all the um the stable giant company. Yeah, uh, the, the good stocks. Yeah, the big stocks, right? These stocks are uh, seldom drop one. Seldom drop so drastically one. You see, most of the Facebook, Amazon, the Fang stock ah, uh, rarely drop so much one. Drop one five percent, ten percent. People say, wow, recession ah, uh, what ah. Uh, they have a what circuit breaker already <laughs> there protect so actually whether safe or not safe uh, it really depends more on what's your investment style what stock you buy only if you yeah. in if you diversify and you buy into good stock uh, this limit down limit up thing uh, is not really i i don't think it's uh, something that will make it safer or make it more dangerous yeah. but what's your view right i think i, I do agree on, on that you know there's a lot of uh, group there's a lot of telegram there's a lot of you know uh different whatsapp group that you know malaysian market can go in stock easily because of our you know market cap is so small as compared to us market so but what one what i really want to point out is if you invest in a company that is fundamentally sound so you don't go and follow tips and go and buy that like, i mean of course the risk is there. but if you go and invest in a company that is within your circle of competence so for example the company that i just mentioned actually i just subtly giving you the company if well, i will never mention lousy company in in any life i will only mention quality company so if you can catch 
my my company, then you can go and do some research, right? Mr. So, DIY is it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, the one we talk about mm-hmm. later. Later, we talk about Mr. DIY a bit. Like, because uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of uh, online guru, the way yeah. they look at DIY, they don't like it. They don't support this DIY. Uh, yeah. I have a mixed point. So I don't dare to say it's not good. It's a bit yeah. not good. But actually, if you look at the longer picture, maybe it's good. So maybe we discuss that later. Yeah, but can we it... pause answer one question first? Yeah, we, we, we come back to the... Oh, answer one question. Uh. Yeah, answer one question first. Uh. This is a very simple yeah. question, man. Uh. Yeah. Nico Yao is asking, Hi Sifu, can I know how can we open US trading account? Which broker I can use? So I personally use TD Ameritrade, uh, Think or Swim, right? Uh, what do you use, Chen Hong? Same. Uh, TD Ameritrade. You can uh, just go to tdameritrade.com.sg and yeah. you can open an account there. The transaction fee is uh, zero. There, there's no... Yeah. Okay, recently it's because of all the US broker they are doing, you know, all the competition and actually benefit us as an investor, right? So if you trade share, uh, the commission is actually zero unless you do option, right? You sell put, sell call, buy put, buy call. Uh, per contract is actually 75 cents. So the cost is minimum. Don't, for me, lah, I don't, okay, I shouldn't say this, but I, if can you use TD Ameritrade because Malaysia one, uh, Malaysia account, it's very really expensive. Uh. 50, 60 on top and then of the percentage also. Uh. All right. Mm. All right. All so right. And then the, the market price also not live one. Yeah. Correct. So go for TD Ameritrade and yeah, you 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 will love it. Uh. Yep. So okay, regarding just now, uh, we talk about circle of competence, right? For yeah. US stock versus Malaysia stock. And I agree with you, uh. Okay, got point. Like uh, let's say uh, Mr. DIY. You can think you got IC, ma, how's the retail sector now? Uh, or REITs, you want to invest in REITs, you go like uh, you go see pavilion of people or not. You go and see uh, the mall, you know uh, if you want to invest padini, you go and see uh, got people or not padini. Oh, very scary. Oh. Padini used to be a super quality stock. <laughs> nah. I go and see, uh. I've been scared. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, last time Q2-3 round, uh, now it's like no people, man. Uh, yeah. some uh, some uh, I don't I won't say all uh. yeah. so. Yeah, you're right. In terms of the retail one, things that we use in Malaysia, yes, mm. um, we have the circle of competence. Yeah. And I partly agree with you with that. But actually, US also can one. You also can get the info very accurately. How, okay, and what is difference investing in US? Because in US, uh, in Malaysia, difference is uh, every quarter, they'll announce a quarterly report, uh, like Supermax, Hatta Lega today, right? But uh, they just write out the thing. Just write the report and or oh, why our results so good. If you are lucky, uh, type in lucky, everyone. If you are lucky, uh, they may tell you why the result go up and tell detail what will affect their business. But unfortunately, uh, most of the company, uh, they write until uh, you can do me open peer. You just read the numbers only, right? You don't know why the profit up, what will affect them, all this. So this kind of company is actually not easy for you to really understand what is going on with them even if they are in malaysia even if you you every day pass by their factory also no point right because you don't know what's actually going inside what's the order all this yeah. <clears throat> but us stock every time they have a, a quarterly result they release it they will have a conference call and you can actually join in the conference call and you can try your luck uh, to become one of the people that ask questions so you can clarify whatever question you have uh, just clarify that. So I prefer that way because I'm very lazy. I just want to stay at home. I read lah. I read the report. And then after that, most importantly, uh, they even provide guidance on, you know, I don't know how they come up with the guidance one. They can project a uh, future result one. Uh, then you, you can use that to do your valuation. Uh, you know whether it's expensive or cheap or uh, all this, right? So I think that way, uh, it's an easier way to get a lot of more info, complete info if you're investing in US stock. Versus yeah. Malaysia stock. I, I do agree on that point, to be honest, because in Malaysia, there's no earning estimation. We only see the TP, the target price. And, and you know, since day one, I invest, uh, you know, back to 2011, when I started to invest, <laughs> I, I do one stupid thing. I don't know whether Wang Tech does this for all the rest of the time. Uh, you follow the TP? Uh? No, no. I This is what I did. I go and open 10 different brokerage accounts, right? So I get all the report. You know, you know, last time there's n- not much of information online. 
Yep. So I only can get a report from the broker. So I get A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then I pull out all the TP. Then I do the average. That's Chen Hong TP. <laughs> Wait, smart eh? <laughs> that was the last time. Lah. But I always uh, realize, right? If I when the moment I do this, it's exactly the price of the current market price. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> ultimately I, I I don't know whether to buy or not to buy. And I realized all the TP is, is different. Like Mr. DIY, you know, some uh investment bank say TP is three dollar. Uh another bank came out like one twenty. So different people have different view, but ultimately it's about what do you want to invest uh, in a company as well as a of confidence. And I do agree with the you know earning guidance. I think that was pretty awesome, but that will create the fluctuation. And I want to counter that, right? It's because in based on the earning estimation, even if the company improved result, if they miss the earning estimation, which created by some analysts, the share price will drop like not 10, 20%, sometimes go even 30%, one, like what Fasti has been doing. Fasti so it dropped 5% only, ma, the guidance, share yeah. price dropped 30, 40%. Correct. So in my mind, I was thinking, do we want to look at the company fundamental itself or you want to go for earning guidance? Yes, if you're lazy, you just follow the earning guidance, match, share price shoot up, never match, just drop. So it's kind of like a bit of gambling, but with the knowledge of fundamental that you understand how does the company is doing. So yeah, that will be my a bit of counter while okay. I agree on, on, on the earnings. I counter back. Lah, huh? Actually, this thing I agree with you. It's true, this phenomena. But actually, I, instead of, you know, the guidance, uh, US, uh, one thing I love about them uh, is they love to overreact one. Management, chin, like that day, Elon Musk, Elon Musk smoked weed, share price dropped 30 to 20 or 30%. Things like that. Lah. Even though, even I, I don't understand the Tesla story, that's why I never buy. But let's say if I like Tesla, that is a great buying opportunity, you know. US yeah, people, the way they invest are really, it's like, okay, if you want to invest in US, yes, you can read book one, really. The book same thing, uh, it really got applied to US market. Like they are irrational. They do crazy things. A lot of opportunity to make good money one in US market because they're super short-term oriented one. Yeah. In Malaysia-wise, it's a bit different, right? It's a bit like um, you need to do a lot of scuttlebutt, Okay. Scatter, but that means you need to do research on the ground and understand all these things. So I personally love the overreaction during the guidance. Even if they release good result, above expectation, but their guidance a bit big, ah, yeah. boom. That is opportunity to buy for long term, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I yes. I mean, I love your point. So I cannot counter. I let you win <laughs> on this point, bro, because. <laughs> I <laughs> I personally do invest in US stock for long term for sure. Yeah. So you win, bro. Yeah. Never mind lah. Okay. Win win. How about options? Malaysia, uh, I know like both of us, uh, we actually learn how to do put option, all this, right? So Malaysia, we can't do this, right? So just for the audience to know, uh, um, what do you do, uh, Chen Hong? How do you make the 20 something percent? You do uh, call option or put option? I do sell put. Sell put. I also do sell put only. I, I only do sell put. Yeah, same thing. Even though I'm sure you know, uh, because you're, I, as far as I know, you guys also do some call option. You guys know like what? Correct, we do. What also, Kung Fu also can to like my right? We did, but we at did. the end, uh, you still go back to I uh, play so, so many things for what? Just sell put. Uh. Yeah. So the. The general concept of uh, sell put is basically, you know, we don't buy company when it's overvalued, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, 400 already. So, have a uh, 3 times 1 only. We got 400. Just 400 a while. Uh, you say something more power, <laughs> then we'll go to 400. <laughs> okay, later I share. So, where, where, where am I? Oh, so in US, right? In, in, in Malaysia or at all the world, we only buy company when, it's un when it is undervalued. So, in Malaysia, when the company is overvalued, we only can wait. But in US, it's different. No? We can sell put. So, for example, we want to buy uh, Facebook. Right now, it's around 260, 270, right? We want to buy Facebook at 220, for example. So, while we wait the price to drop to 220, I can sell a put contract to lock the price at 220. At the same time, the people actually pay me for this particular premium. 
So mm-hmm. that's how you know me and Meng take make money. I, I got to know this, you know, back to 2018. As I mentioned, I only practiced at the end of 2019. And and the result was, was really amazing. But to be honest, sometimes you'll get trapped uh because no, initially it, I lost money, you know, doing this. I keep really, losing yeah. money. Because uh, back then the the idea was sell put, you get the stock, you sell call, uh, right? True. So true. I sell put drop, I sell call go up, and uh, <laughs> I sell put drop twenty percent. I sell call go up twenty percent. Sell put drop twenty percent. Keep losing, yeah. keep losing every month. Lose yeah. until uh, I yeah, sell put and hold on it Don't sell call already la. Yeah. So okay. I mean, yeah. option is a very powerful tool that you know we we always use that i mean we we can leave it to next session hey by the way i mean i i don't know this session can can last until so long i thought right 30 to 45 minutes we, we can settle how many of you enjoy really enjoy so far help me to type in enjoy uh in the comment box i say i, I saw ray ray just graduated from yesterday program uh, right now you are here good to see you <laughs> hi ray nice to meet you too yeah yeah so, type in enjoy guys uh, if there's a lot of people typing enjoy, then maybe Chen Hong will do something special, like maybe he will dance or something. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody can do TikTok, ma. All the guru want to go TikTok already, ma. I, I think I just go for uh, screener for you guys. So uh, screener, because we reached 400, ma. He promised yeah. to show us some screener. So let's, uh, okay, just do some magic for you guys. Yeah. Okay. So, so then, as, uh, just now, uh, Chen Hong promised that if we reach 400 people, he'll share with us some highly potential stocks, right? Wow, we have a lot of your, your client, eh? MIP grad from 2018. Recently, Hello. Chen Hong has been, you know, Chen Hong's company has been working on an app called VI app, right? Yeah. I think it's a very interesting app. It's sort of like KLSE screener, but for the yeah. whole world. But let me shut up and let Chen Hong share this thing uh, yeah. because yeah how how do we use it and what what is this thing by the way i must mention uh, this is not free one uh. so i i mean i need to clarify because uh i'm on main tech platform so uh this is all paid one uh, i just show you the tool but of course i will show you some uh idea so that you can you know it's, it's up to you whether you want to take down the note or not so basically uh long story short this vf is a very powerful tool for us to go and examine any company so any company in the world except for the euro market euro market we only have uk but anywhere in the world you can find the company so example just show me any company that you want guys um what company you want <clears throat> just throw in hey maybe chen hong um we put fastly maybe fastly we, we just yeah. do fastly yeah well you got a fan here man henley toc best app ever wow. hey, henley good to see you here <laughs> you know him? yeah at least our, you know, the brother, the two sister, the friend, the family, all here. So they, they, they wow. are. Yeah. Wow. Hey, bro, you know, you really have a lot of, of my students all here. Eh? <laughs> they they yeah. watch me and watch you. Then next time, don't do live at the same time. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I mean, let's, let's go for fasting, right? And for people who don't know how to read financial statement, uh, there's one thing called the, what we call the star chart. So star chart is basically we're going to examine the company whether do they make money the profitability uh health asset dividend growth so we used 108 different indicator to examine the company right so as you can see what what is the number one thing that stood up for fastly for for you what is the number one thing that stood up for you let me know in the chat box what's the number one thing the one the the segment where it has the highest point one is it yeah correct so growth for me yeah definitely for growth so as you can see right the company are not making money yet but it's at healthy because our full mark is actually 10 point but our passing rate is six point so i repeat uh, maximum is 10 but the passing is six so how do we came up from all the six point three point ten point we also have a detail and indicator if you can understand then you can go and click up for example health we check the company, you know, all the way from CFO to free cash flow uh, to current ratio, quick ratio, net debt. We cover a lot of different things that uh, analysts has been covering. And some people will say, Chenong, why they're so complicated? There's so much of things. Very simple. It's because we have a group of analysts who are literally doing this at the back to analyzing all this information, right? 
So we came up with all this and we give a score. Now, so currently the profit is not passed, but the health is passed and the growth is passed. So that's how we read. You know, you know that the moment you click in the key ratio, it's tally. Example, the company are not making money. You see, the net profit margin is losing money, right? But the company balance sheet is growing strong. The current ratio and the cash was incredible at 10 times. That's exactly tally with what the star chart has been saying about, right? So any company in the world, you can just type in, then you can get the information. You just, you see, just one minute, you know from fingertip, the company, the balance sheet is strong, the cash flow is there, high growth, but not making money. So yeah, and this, this is what you can do. And few more company, for example, Let's uh, pick some Malaysia company, lah. Yeah. Every so, the whole world company can win, ah. Huh? Whole oh, world. Yeah, except France, Italy cannot, lah. Okay, Malaysia one confirm can, lah. Yeah, Malaysia can. So okay, anyhow, let, let's try. Um. Okay, now I'm like really testing your app, ah. Let's yeah. try an IPO company. Today only IPO one, I think. Uh, today, today cannot. Today, uh, cannot. today uh, need to wait for okay. one week. Ah, uh, DIY. Want... Cannot. Need DIY also cannot, ma. Also recently. Okay, okay, like, ah. Uh, Okay, super max. Uh. <laughs> Again, super max. Uh, yes, also, I see a lot of people asking about rubber glove, so I pick a neutral one, uh, super max. Uh. Yeah. So this is a uh, entire chart for super max. And the best part is this. Uh, Whoa. You can see all the way from 10 years ago. Right. So 10 years ago, they are okay. And oh. right now, still doing okay. Right. But this one, no valuation mark. Uh. Okay. Yeah. This one can do valuation, right? Maybe you're asking about the valuation form. No, I, I just want to ask what's a TP? Does this app show you or what price ah. is safe to buy? Got, got, got. So hang on. Uh. I go for other companies. You, you share first, you share first. Yeah. So I go for, let's say, I go for Penta. Okay, Penta. Right. So Penta Master. Now, Gorilla stands for strong company. Uh. Gorilla stands for super strong company, right? So we want to buy green gorilla company. So you can you can type in a green gorilla. So what is green gorilla? Means the company are extremely healthy, they are at a high growth, their profit is more than six to seven point. That is called gorilla. And green gorilla means it's super healthy. So Penta, as you can see, is super healthy. At the same time, the company has been growing, right? So if you ask about the TP, that main thing I have been asking is called V-Line, right? We also have different valuation method that you can pick and this app can pick for yourself, right? Like discounted cash flow. Currently the TP is 495. Yeah. So, but the price is five ringgit. So that's have, having a negative margin of safety. So uh, everything done by itself. So yeah. you, you, you can choose uh, what kind of valuation you want. Uh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the more you know about the valuation method, then you can choose. Uh. So one thing uh, is uh, even if they want to use this app, uh, it's best that they at least have some basic understand what is DCF, discounted cash flow, what is price to sales, what is uh, dividend yield. Yeah, actually right. we, we give explanation here. Uh, yeah. Do, but not a lot of people actually can understand. So that's why yeah. uh, we encourage people to read books, uh, right? Uh, it's a must. So attend focus attend program you know go and find video youtube any anything so must have some knowledge first lah. If, if not this like a knife you no know, people give you but you don't know how to cut the meat then you go and kill people but mm. it, it's the same thing right mm. so uh and the one of the most powerful thing uh just now hit 400 people uh one of the very powerful thing called screener that we can screen uh malaysia gorilla company so as i mentioned green gorilla it's a company that we want to look at. So the moment you go in, out of 900 over company, uh, these are the green gorilla company. That's past our test. So I say one more time, uh, out of 922 company, just one click, it left with 17 company that passed the green gorilla filter. If you find amazing, help me to type in wow, W-O-W in the chat box. Guys, type in W O W if you find this thing super powerful, super easy for you to filter out things and company yeah. and make your investment process much easier. So these are all the you know high growth company, Retech, 
uh, the solar, the PV, Hatta Lega, we always talk about, right? The rubber glove, uh, Lee Han, uh, government stock, MyQuiz, OpenSys, Rexit, Sam Engineer, Scientec. I, you know, I, I did a research uh, from March itself, right? You every single month, let's say you use 1000 ringgit Malaysia to invest in Green Gorilla company, right? Yeah. Return year to date, right? From March until now, easily yeah. around 20 to 30 percent. 20 to 30 percent. Yeah, you just yeah. close your eye, you just buy. I mean, of course, there's certain company that cannot make it one, ah, right? Yeah, yeah. But overall portfolio is still going on, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you. So, uh, this app, uh, some people have been asking, is that need to pay? The answer is yes. One year is 365 US dollar for three different markets. So, must, must pay one. But how many of you want free gift? Type in free gift in the chat box. Type in free. If you want to use this app for free, guys, type in free. Maybe yeah. Chen Hong today, mood super happy. Hey, by the way, Chen Hong, do you believe yeah. in law of attraction? Uh? Uh, of course. See, uh, just now our aim, uh, this thing uh, it really haunt me for my life. Already. Every time I have a go, uh, I always chun chun hit the go, uh, then no more. Our highest viewership, 400. We aim 400, chun chun 400, then drop. Uh, yeah. Wow, so, a lot of people type in free. Eh? So what good news you have for us? And how much free? How to subscribe? Okay, so basically it's very simple. Uh, all of all of you can go to okay. I, I just lock out first. Uh. you can go to triplew.v.app, right? So you can go to the app. Uh, let's see whether vi right vi dot app. Yeah, so I just copy and paste. Where can I type in? Uh? Okay, I type in in my. Yeah, I type in for you. Yeah, triplew.vi.app. Thanks, bro. So triplew dot vi dot app right so then after that you go in right uh you can click register after you register an account then you just log in so i give you some time to go and register right now the, the key point is uh, i as i mentioned this app is not free okay so one day you need to pay 365 now, normally, when you want to free trial, it's seven day. Normally, if you never go through anyone, it's seven day free trial by default. But because Mingte is here, invite us over. That's the reason why I created another code to give you additional one more week of free trial. So in total, you can use two weeks for free, absolutely for free of charge. How many of you love that? Type in L-O-V-E, love in the chat box. Type in love if you love this special offer, special bonus gift for you from Chen Hong. Type in love. So uh, anyway, guys, um, just to summarize, if you love what he shared with you just now, you think the app that he shared with you, hey, quite useful. Huh? If you got nothing to lose, ma, just go okay to www.vi.app, right? Then type in my name as the promo code Mingtek, M-E-N-G-T-E-C-K, right? Then use it for 14 days. On the 13th day, oh sorry, I'm so bad, you know. On the 13th yeah, day, decide, yeah. On the 13th day, if you decide, hey, this app I'm not using also, cancel long, but at least you can use it for free for 10 or 13 days, man. But remember to cancel lah if you really don't want to yeah. pay one, <laughs> right? So yeah. to be honest, ah, if you don't want to use, please cancel it. If you don't want to use, if you find it absolutely never help you in your investment journey, just unsubscribe. Right. Because for me personally, you must subscribe into an item and in a tool that potentially can help you. Yes, you know. But I believe that some, some of the viewers actually use this app before. How many of you use this app before and you love it? Type in best in a chat box. If you use this uh V app before and you find right the best, type in best in a chat box. Yeah. So, so you guys, can go to, yeah. Uh remember once you type in the promo code, the trial date will change from seven to fourteen, right? I think the promo code is Ming Take Combine, is it? Not yeah. sure. Yeah. So you bro, you share my screen, I bring them to the yeah. page to so type in. Yeah. So you can choose uh V1, which is one market. Uh, normally I recommend V starter. So you can just write down first call the V starter. Okay, V starter. Huh? So the moment you click in, you click subscribe now. Then you need to key in right now. The length of trial is 70, right? 
Now you can watch back this video so that you can you can do later uh, after this live. Now this promo code you must type in main take. No space ah. Uh. No space ah. Uh. So the moment you type in main take, you click apply, some magic will happen. You see this uh, length of trial seven day, you click apply, suddenly it became 14 days. Wow. You guys That's see how powerful is my name now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. US dollar 365, uh, not ringgit, uh, US dollar. Now, I, I must declare first, uh, all the information, the credit card need to key because we need to verify you are the real human being. Now, after 14 days, if you forget to subscribe, unsubscribe, the card will charge automatically. I tell you upfront first, right? So I need to tell you upfront, it will charge automatically like Netflix, like Spotify, uh, like Microsoft is the same thing. But if you want to use it for free on the 12th day or on the 11th day, you can just click unsubscribe. There's a no, there's an automatic unsubscribe button after your subscribe. One. It's an automatic one. Okay. If you yeah, only so want to stop no US, yeah. the price is 299. It's 299. Uh -huh. But I mean, you use for free first. Huh? You can click any package you use for free. And on the 7th of November, uh, just remember to send unsubscribe. That's all. Yep. Cool. So I think it's already been one hour. How yeah. many of you really love today's, um, like our discussion? You like the chemistry? Wow, oh, we got chemistry. Type in super if you like the way we discuss and you want to get more, right? You're thinking, wow, if there is part two, if you know Ming Tech can um talk and discuss further with chen hong maybe just now we discuss the option part discuss halfway we cannot finish then maybe next time we can continue and discuss another current issue if you guys want that type in super right if many oh, people type in super maybe to be honest, really uh, hmm. to be honest uh, i i i think we're just touching very very little thing and, and one hour just passed eh? i think we can definitely do part two part three part four i think i me personally, I really enjoy this session. I mean, really yeah, don't I also like it. Yeah, never meet you and have a, some chit chat session. Yeah, yeah, man. Many things have happened, um, and our investment style also changed. Actually, we got a lot of content supposed to share today, but not enough time. So, um, we can share again. Um, next session, Leong yeah. is asking where's the unsubscribe button. I believe I think, that, be I think it'll be inside if you if you cannot find it. You, you just type out type in this email called hello h-e-l-l-o at v.app so you can help me to post the email up so that you can send any inquiry to the our team hello at v.app okay yeah. app uh, not aps www.vi.app hi wei jun hi nicole uh, we didn't say also our session is a bit too short. So, bro, you want to continue another session, part two, next okay. time? I think let's, yeah. let's arrange. Uh, I need to go and make, make some milk for my newborn baby boy right now. Yeah, he needs to go and make milk a day. So anyway, uh, we're going to end in uh, about one or two minutes. But if yeah. you want to find us next time, just now I talked with Chen Hong because he also shared with me he has one hour time limit. The next time, we will be doing a sharing again, but don't know when. Maybe next week, next two weeks. Mm. Uh, but it will be probably on Chen Hong's page. He has an ongoing show called VI Talk, right? Yeah. So if you want to catch me there, um, we will share with you again how to catch our part two uh, yeah. in the next few weeks. Okay? Correct. Thank you very much, bro, for the interesting Thanks. sharing. Thanks for uh, inviting me. I think I really personally enjoyed this session a lot. So, you know, uh, hopefully we can arrange ASAP on our part two, part three, or part four uh, to have this kind of talk show. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, have a good evening. Uh, enjoy your family time. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Bye -bye. See you guys.